So how many of you have ever tried a cigarette or had family members try it or friends? Alright. And how many of you have ever experienced a loss because of that due to cancer? Alright. Um, two years ago today, I witnessed a beautiful mother of three slowly deteriorate because of cancer. She lived a short life of only 50 years, leaving her friends and family behind. Sharon loved life and would do anything for anyone, but cancer decided to poison her body. And on December 21st, 2010, Sharon passed. She was a smoker for over 30 years, and this was just one side effect that changed not only her life, but her family's life as well. So I want everyone to close their eyes and imagine this Christmas, your mom in the hospital bed, weighing only 90 pounds, and your family members around her, and you guys having to celebrate Christmas four days early because she only has a few hours to live. Well, this is what happened to Sharon. And um, think about what an impact this has on your family and how you could give anything to take this back, to have one more holiday with her, to have her watch you graduate college or even get married, to take care of her when she's old. Imagine having, um, not having the opportunity to experience any of these things because of cancer. Good morning, my name is Ashley Sewell. I have had first-hand experience watching loved ones pass because of cancer due to smoking. Today I'm here to propose a policy that every United States citizen should be banned from purchasing and consuming tobacco-related products. Today we'll examine the problems related to smoking, what causes the addiction, and the solutions to the problem. So let's begin to talk about the problem of smoking. The problem of smoking has so many health-related issues even leading to cancer in most cases. And according to the American <coughs> Association, it is the number one most preventable cause of death in the United States. Also, researchers have found that non-smokers have 13 to 14 more years of life than smokers. Smoking is also accountable for every one in five deaths, according to the Centers of Disease and Control Prevention. Imagine how many lives that would save if tobacco was banned. And now we're gonna move on to the causes. The main reason why people smoke is between the addiction, family members have done it, and the social aspect of it. And according to the American Heart Association, um, the addiction is a temporary relaxation and stress relief. Then, and it's been one of the hardest addictions of all time, and that is why many people have issues cutting their addiction of smoking. And another reason is family members have done it, also secondhand smoke. Um, if your parents have raised you smoking, it's obviously okay, and you've been conditioned to um, think that's acceptable. And that's why most people have done it as well. Um, and also another aspect is the social part of it. If you're at a party and your friends are smoking a cig while they're drinking, you know, like you want to do it too. It's just part of like what happens at parties and in high school, I'm sure. Um, that's when it all started, and peer pressure from friends and also co-workers for a smoke break, you know, you're going to want to um, do it with them as well. And now that I've told you the problems and the causes, let's move on to the solutions. Um, luckily, there are many solutions to um, take part in prevent, preventing smoking and um, cancer along with other related illnesses. Um, you can boycott tobacco products at your local markets and stores, and um, you can also become addicted to other things such as gum or working out to relieve your stress or um, finding a hobby that you like to do to get your mind off, things like that. And you can also um, let others know that you're quitting to avoid smoking areas so that they can give you support in um, your addiction and trying to fight that. And in conclusion, we have discussed how smoking is a problem, what causes the addiction, and the solutions to fix this problem. I hope after closing your eyes and taking a moment to realize how different your life would be without your loved one, including your mom, your father, your sister, aunts and uncles, um, because of smoking. So let's take a stand and to prevent the consumption of tobacco, related products, and smoking in your area. And just remember that one less cigarette can save a life. Thank you.